right, I'm going to show you how to make a simple practice piece uh, that will help you learn to rotate the glass evenly and also gradient heating. And we're going to be making uh, some of these little icicles for a Christmas tree. So you'll have something when you're, that you're making during your practice that uh, has some value to it. You can hang it on your tree or give it to friends or even sell them. I sell these things at a craft sale every year for three bucks a piece and I make up about a hundred of them, maybe a few more and I don't bring many of them back, if any, so they're pretty popular. Uh, I've got uh, 10 millimeter clear and then I have some cobalt blue. This is the Chinese cobalt, pretty inexpensive stuff and it's an easy color to work with. Notice that when I apply this stripe down the side of this rod, I'm going to push the clear rod up and hold the color in the flame. Just like that. We'll put the stripe down one side and then we'll go down the other. Now while I'm heating the colored rod up again, I'm going to keep the backsplash at the base of the color on the clear rod. We'll apply the second one. Then I'm going to clean my color rod up and at the same time I'm going to keep the backsplash at the base of that color because that 10 millimeter rod is pretty cool down there and it will crack if I don't keep it hot. Then I'll add a honey to the end of the rod and this is going to be a hot seal, not a cold seal because I'm going to use it later to make the hook. So both ends are going to be red hot, attach it and then we start our gradient heat. The nice thing about having the color is that you can see uh, with color rod you can see the temperature of the glass better than you can with clear and you can see if you've got any hot spots and the two stripes down the side as you're rotating it if you start getting uh, rotating one hand more than the other it'll, you'll see it right away so you'll learn to rotate and you'll learn to gradient heat I'm heating the bottom of the color more than the top. And then when it gets pliable, I'm going to remove it from the flame and I'm going to twist and pull. And you'll see how I get a taper because of that gradient heating. Now since the right hand side of this was not as hot as the left hand side, I didn't get as much twist on it. So I'm going to come back and heat just that part of it and add a little more twist to finish it up. Then once I get my twist and everything the way I want it, then I'll come down to the end of the pony and start heating that up. The fact that that was kind of sloppy doesn't matter because I'm going to fix all that right now. I'm just going to put a simple shepherd's hook on it. Since my clear rod is hot, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and prepare it for the next one right now. Then I'll come back and warm the hook up, straighten it up with my uh, carbon rod. Get it nice and centered. Then I'll take my tweezers and run them through the flame to preheat them a little bit so I don't shock the glass. Then I'll come down and separate it at the end. So you can use this to uh, practice your rotational skills and you can uh, practice your gradient heating with that. Let me see if I can get you a better view. Don't forget to clean your rods up while they're hot because that will save you a lot of time. If you clean them up, put them aside and clean them up later after they're cold, it takes longer to heat them back up again. So. Save yourself some time by cleaning your rod ends up at that at uh, the time you're through using them. So that'll give you something to practice with, and uh, thanks for watching.